friends, Debbie here with Debbie Gets Crafty, and happy Monday. So friends, I hope you are all, all able to tune in to see the completion of our wind chimes. And that was my first off the canvas project uh, that I'm that I did with in collaboration with Sweet Tea. And that is Trisha with Diamond Painting with Sweet Tea. So I figured this week I would take care of working on these coasters. These were coasters that I was working on previously and set the project aside. Well, I decided to dig them out and see if we can't finish these up. And with the magic of modern technology and uh, Sweet Tea being such a great influence on me, I will, I will go ahead and we'll work on one of these entire uh, coasters each day from today Friday will be the last one I have five of these left so and I will do some time lapse in order to fit this in in a fairly timely fashion so what I'm going to do is go ahead and zoom you in a little bit there we go and I figured I would start with the number twos there's not too many I don't think if there's yeah, there's a few number two, so we'll work on those first, and then I'll do a time lapse of the number one and the number three, okay? Because uh, there's quite a few of those. So let's go ahead and get started. And how are you all today? And this way it'll give us a chance to do an introduction and see how everybody's doing. I hope you're all doing well. Again, if you've not yet seen that completion, please stop on by and check that completion out. Uh, it was a wind chime that I got from Timu. I had such a good time up until it came time to put the thing together. I had a really hard time with the instructions. So that's the only complaint I have were the instructions on how to put it together were very vague at best. Yes, there were pictures, but even the pictures were a bit, they weren't helpful, to be honest with you. So uh, it made it very difficult to, um, to put it together, but we did it. We got it together. There's some footage of it hanging up. Let's see, that can't be the only, yeah, we have some twos over here. To, I'm going to flip this around. There we go. Okay. Um, I have some footage of it outside hanging in the sunshine. There was a light breeze. Whoopsie. There was a light breeze that really made it uh, sparkle. Not enough of a breeze to make the chimes touch each other, but enough of a breeze to make it twist and turn and... It was really very pretty to see. All finished. We brought it back in the house. My husband will, at some point in time this week, seal it. And we'll be able to get it back outside, hanging up. To enjoy. It's going to be very hot this week. Well, it looks like there's not very many more twos. These designs on these blue chat, blue china patterns, they don't really have any rhyme or reason. So, uh, okay. So that looks like that's all for the twos. So now what I'm going to do is start with the threes. Do a few of those. And then we will get started with our time lapse. That's a beautiful dark blue. There we are. Hold on just a second, friends. There we go. Okay. Got 
got the middle done. There we are. So what I think we'll do now is we're going to go ahead and get started with the time lapse. So I will be back shortly. Enjoy the time lapse and the music. Be back in a minute. <music>
friends. So I hope you enjoyed that uh, time lapse. Here is our coaster all done. And I certainly hope that you enjoyed today's episode. Tomorrow we will have another coaster that we will work on. We'll work on this coaster. So until I see you all again, have a wonderful day and happy crafting. God bless you. Take care. Bye now.